start filming me now. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. All good. This fella right here, anytime they come from this spinal cord, we're going to call it, or spinous processes of the vertebrae, we're going to say that it is a trapezius muscle. So, the first trapezius muscle at the bottom is named as spinal trapezius. Once I find spinal trapezius, then I notice that the second fella is called a chromial trapezius. So that's a chromial trapezius. The next fella we look at is clavo trapezius. So again, we got clavo trapezius, a chromial trapezius, spinal trapezius. And Mr. Gilmore, they all make sense if you run them together. I agree. If I look here and say this is spinal trapezius, then this muscle here is becoming my who? Spinal deltoid. So spinal trapezius, spinal deltoid. Very easy. Uh, the second fella is my acromial trapezius, acromial deltoid. Do it again, Mr. Gilmore. Well, you're going to find there's a separation of the muscle right there. Chromial trapezius, acromial deltoid. Now, Mr. Gilmore, if that much is true, if you extend his arm, you'll find that this is clavo trapezius. As you leave the clavo trapezius, that makes this part clavo deltoid. Very easy for me to identify. I have uh, now six muscles under my belt. If I look at it, I find there's a muscle who goes here, and he goes and dips under the clavo trapezius to hide. And as I re reflect everyone, I can just about see him there. So as I look at him, that muscle comes out to play. His name is... Levator scapulae ventralis. So if I see levator scapulae ventralis, I'm all set. I can now retract muscles and learn that once I retract this cute one called who? Spinal trapezius and this large one called latissimus dorsi, now I see more muscles being heightened. And then I can retract this fellow called chromial trapezius. Now I'm all set to find my rotator cuff muscle. And they are supraspinatus. I see there's this thing called the spine of the scapulae. Infraspinatus, if that much is true, Mr. Gilmore, there's another separation. His name is Terry Major. If that much is true, then there's one that I have to rotate in order to see him. His name is Subscapularis. I can't see him, Mr. Gilmore. You need to show him to him a little bit better. No problem. This fellow right here is Subscapularis. This is all of him. He goes, he's underneath the scapula. Once I found that, Mr. Gilmore, well, what's this fellow that's going to the inferior border of the scapula? If I find that fellow that's going to the inferior border of the scapula, his name is Rhomboidus Major. If that is Rhomboidus Major, watch what happens. There's somebody going to the medial border of the scapula. His name is Rhomboidus Minor. Again, the minor is larger than the major. If that much is true, Mr. Gilmore, there's somebody he's going, and he's trying to go up toward the head. So we're going to call him Rhomboidus Capitus or Occipital Scapularis. Either way, I buy it for a dollar. Rhomboidus Capitus or Occipital Scapularis. As I leave him, I notice he's lying on, over another muscle. So I retract that muscle. The muscle that he's lying on top of is called Splenius. Splenius is a muscle that I can pull back. And after I pull back, I can see there are some muscles lying underneath. And sometimes we need to look at him closely. Now, watch this right here. When I pull splinting his back, this is why I make you cut the head so that these muscles can lie more flat. So right now, I'm kind of limited, but I don't have time to do it. When I pull this back and pull splinting, I find there's two muscles. And they lie on top of each other like shingles. So I'm going to retract this. And you'll notice there's one muscle on top. His name is biventer cervicus. The one underneath is complexus. You with that? Biventer cervicus and complexus. They're separated. It looks like shingles. You know how shingles overlap. And so that's those two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This is a very good cat to identify him with because his muscles are going to be large and there's reason to identify. Now I need to take him and run with him. Now that we have those muscles as review, review.